practical study. Guys, today we are going to discuss about the different types of fuels like natural gas, LPG, diesel, HFO and coal. And we will discuss that how much quantity of each fuel will be required to produce 1 kilowatt of electricity. Or in other words, we can say that we are going to calculate heat rate of all fuels or specific fuel consumption of each fuel. Before moving ahead, it is to request you, please subscribe our channel. First of all, we need to understand what is the difference between heat rate and specific fuel consumption. Heat rate means the quantity of heat required to produce one kilowatt of electricity means that we will give thermal energy input to our power plant and we will get electrical energy output from the power plant and its unit is normally kilojoule per kilowatt or BTU per kilowatt or kilowatt per kilowatt but in specific fuel consumption we are going to discuss the amount of fuel used to produce one kilowatt of electricity for example if we are running a natural gas power plant, then the amount of fuel unit will be meter cube. So we, if we will uh, notice down or we will calculate how much meter cube of natural gas will be required to produce one kilowatt of electricity. Or in other words, if we are using diesel, then how much liters of diesel is required to produce one kilowatt of electricity. So in specific fuel consumption, we are basically calculating the amount of fuel required and in heat rate we are basically taking the ratio of thermal energy and electrical energy. We will work on the following fuel power plants natural gas, LPG, diesel, HFO and coal. For the purpose of this we need two important parameters from the technical data sheet of power plant. Whatever power plant we are using, natural gas, LPG, diesel, HFO, coal, we will uh, require its technical data sheet in order to find following two parameters. Number one, total fuel flow and number two, power output. <clears throat> so let's move uh, with natural gas. Now we, uh, we need to calculate the specific fuel consumption and heat rate for natural gas power plant then we select two parameters from the technical data sheet of natural gas power plant which we have selected the gas generator of Gen Barker that is JGS 208 GSLL so the this is the technical data sheet of Gen Barker power plant the first parameter electric output is 330 kilowatt at full load and the second parameter gas volume is 213 cubic meter per hour. So putting these two parameters. Now we know that the specific fuel consumption is equal to amount of fuel used divided by power output. So the putting the values the fuel use is 213 and power output is 330. So we get 0.64 cubic meter per kilowatt. So in order to produce one kilowatt of electricity from natural gas power plant or natural gas generator, we, need, we will be required 0.64 meter cube of natural gas. So we have calculated the specific fuel consumption. Now we will uh, calculate the heat rate, which formula is fuel flow multiplied by GCV divided by electrical energy out. GCV is the gross calorific value. And it's a constant value of each fuel uh, depends on the quality of fuel. The greater the quality of fuel, the higher the value of GCV. You can find your GCV value from your uh, fuel supplier. We have taken just uh, the average values uh, for the sake of calculations. GCV of natural gas is 14,400 kilojoule per meter cube. We will take all the values in kilojoule per meter cube for the ease of our calculation. So putting the values 213 fuel flow multiplied by GCV divided by power output we get this meter cube will be cancelled by this meter cube. So we get the simplified value 
3067-200 kilojoule per hour divided by 330 kilowatt. You know that kilojoule per second is kilowatt, so we need to convert this hour in second in order to convert this unit in kilojoule per second. And we know that one hour is equal to 3600 seconds. So we will divide uh, this value by 3600 and uh, we will get uh, we will get kilojoule per second so here is the value 852 kilowatt divided by 330 kilowatt e this 852 kilowatt is the thermal energy in to the generator and 330 kilowatt is the electrical energy out from the generator so by dividing these values we will get heat rate 2.58 kilowatt per kilowatt electrical output <laughs> in order to make our calculation simple let's make a simple chart in this chart on the left hand side we have write down all the fuels now we have to find out these two parameters total fuel flow and power output for each fuel power plant with the help of these two parameters and gross calorific value which is a constant value we will find out the specific fuel consumption and heat rate for the sake of simplification uh, we know that fuel flow divided by power output is specific fuel consumption so uh, here heat rate will be equal to specific fuel consumption multiplied by gcp so uh, for the natural gas we have already done the calculation we are just again uh, writing down here Here you can say that, uh, see that uh, for the heat rate, I have multiplied the specific fuel consumption with the GCV and I have divided with 3600 in order to convert hour into second. Now, for the LPG, I have uh, taken the LPG power plant and uh, here you can see that at 100% power rating, the LPG consumption in meter cube per hour is 39.9 and its uh, power output uh, in LPG is 351 kilowatt, kilowatt. So we have find out these two important values and the GCV of LPG is 93,132 kilojoule per meter cube. Similarly, for the specific fuel consumption, we will divide fuel flow with the power output and for the heat rate, we will multiply specific fuel consumption with GCV and we will divide it by 3600 and we will get heat rate for the diesel i have selected a, a diesel engine of model 2506a its engine capacity is 400 kilowatt and its electrical energy output is 400 also and fuel consumption is 84 liter or you can say that 71.4 kg so we get the uh, two important values fuel flow and power output and it's GCV is 36,125 kilojoule per liter. Similarly, for specific fuel consumption, we will divide fuel flow with the power output and for heat rate, we will multiply specific fuel consumption with GCV and we will divide it by 3600. For HFO, I have selected Watsila engine 50DF and its fuel consumption is 3164.64 kilogram per hour and its engine capacity is 16,621 kilowatt. It's quite big engine, and heating value of uh, uh, HFO is 40 megajoule per kg. So 40,000 kilojoule per kg of GCV. So dividing fuel flow with power output, we get specific fuel consumption. Now again, heat rate with the similar values. So we get the heat rate of 2.12 kilowatt per kilowatt electric. For the coal power plant, I have selected uh, one of the coal power plant. Its uh, fuel flow is 53,800 kilogram per hour and its power output is 1 lakh kilowatt. That means 100 megawatt power plant. That's quite big because in coal power plants, we can deal in big power plants. So the GCV of that coal is 20,000 kilojoule per kg. Similarly, uh, we will divide uh, fuel flow with power output for a specific fuel consumption or for heat rate 
we will multiply specific fuel consumption with GCV and divide by 3600. So we get 2.98 kilowatt per kilowatt electric. So this is this was our today's video. I hope guys you will like this video. And if you like this video, please share in your comments so that I can make more interesting videos in future for you.